where do we get protein from in our diet? Two main sources, um, we can get them from animal sources as well as plant sources. To be more specific, they come from meat, red meat, poultry, fish, dairy products, eggs, and then plant sources include legumes, so that's dried, dried beans, black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, things like that, and soybeans as well, um, edamame, tofu, um, lots of different forms of, of soy um, are, are processed and used in a lot of vegetarian type protein sources. We also get protein from grains. Uh, people don't think about grains as being one of their main sources of protein, and it's it's not certainly as high as we can get from some of those others, but there is a little bit of protein in many grain sources, particularly whole grains, um, oats, quinoa, which is actually a seed, but um, kind of think about it in the grain category. Those are some pretty good sources of protein as well, and then nuts and seeds. We talked about those in the fat category. They are really a, a rich source of fat, but they also do contain protein. With protein-rich foods, what I want you to think about as the three main things is simply whole foods, minimally processed, and having variety. So what we've talked about with the other um, carbohydrate and fats as well. But there's some other specifics um, I mentioned in the fat lecture that when we're looking at protein foods, one of the benefits of making those choices is the type of fat that's in those. Um, in carbohydrate-rich foods, looking at color um, is advantageous to give us an idea that things are rich in nutrients. As far as protein-rich foods, really the main thing is to, to just choose whole foods, to have things that aren't highly processed, that um, come you know as simply from nature as possible, and then to have some variety within those. Um, particularly for individuals who choose a heavily plant-based or vegetarian or vegan sources of protein in their diet, variety is important, um, even a little more so because the availability of those, um, the source of protein, the bioavailability is, is slightly less. You can absolutely get an adequate protein diet without choosing animal products, but I do think variety becomes a little bit more important to consider. With any food category. These are three things that I want you to keep remembering. Whole foods, minimally processed, add variety, and protein is just the third area that we want to consider those.